What's going on guys? So today guys, we are in the kitchen and today our go and video is just gonna be a quick video on, you know, my first experience. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some turkeys on the grill and just let them smoke for about three to I would say roughly six hours. And in between that time, basically we're gonna be adding more the hardwood charcoal as well as some hickory wood chips. So that way we can, you know, produce a nice good smoke. So in this container, custom brine mixture that my dad had made, I'm gonna utilize that for our first turkey that we have in here. We got some ice and underneath we have the actual turkey. That brom is gonna go in here and we're gonna close the lid and let everything marinate uh, overnight. But I have another turkey, which that other turkey is in here. And what I need to do is make a custom brom for that. Guys, the way that I'm gonna make my brom for the turkey is to use some apple juice. Uh, I got some hickory bacon seasoning. And we're gonna add some sea salt to our mixture. Pour it in our bucket with the turkey and throw some ice uh, around it. We don't want our turkey to bake it overnight. We wanna keep it nice and chilled. So, you know, once it sits overnight, then you basically take your turkey, rinse it down, let it dry and throw it on a grill, which prior to going on the grill, it's gonna get a slap of uh, this BBQ rub. BBQ rub. We're gonna use this as our thermometer to monitor our temperature, our internal temperature, which uh, commonly 165 for the turkey will do us right. What I'm gonna do guys is take our turkeys out of the bucket and put them in the sink just to uh, take the bag off and get the buckets ready nice and clean for them and we'll be on our merry way to start the process. A lot of turkey juice. All right, guys, we got all the turkeys out of the bags. I uh, did a quick pre-rinse with some water. Um, so now we're ready to put them in a bucket after we put them in the bucket. Then we're gonna take our brom and add some ice, close the lid, let it brom overnight, come back, dry them out, you know, dry for roughly an hour, get the skin nice and dry, then take some um, oil. It could be coconut oil, olive oil, whatever type of oil that you like to use and uh, basically uh, oil the body down and that will help us when we put our rub on it, that rub will stick to the surface of the turkey. And it'll also uh, help, you know, kinda if we add some like, you know, some sugar to it too, brown sugar, it'll help that skin caramelize. <laughs> So we got the small one and the big one. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands. All right, this is the first brown. This is the brown my dad made. I'm gonna add it to this one too. We just want enough to uh, ensure that our turkey is marinating in it. We gotta add some more. We got a big turkey, small turkey. They're all in our custom brom juice. Mm -hmm. 
All right, guys, so now that we have the lids on tight, our turkeys are going to brahm overnight. She's ready for t turkeys tomorrow. Let's see. We're gonna do all the charcoal wood in here. It's a nice, delicious wood that's gonna be tossed in here. So this is pretty much gonna be the end that generates our heat. We're just gonna smoke it, smoke the two turkeys. It's gonna be good to go, baby. All right, guys, it's the next day. Now we're gonna go ahead and pour all of the juice from the buckets into the sink and rinse the turkeys off in the sink, pat them down dry and throw them on the grill. Lemons, grapefruit, apples. Our grill is about 325. We're gonna turn it down some, I'm usually do about 250. Cover it up just a little bit so that way we can not overcook the bird too early. Move that a little bit. Let's do that. There we go. When it gets hot, it'll do that. It's hot. So we got our hardwood in there. As you can see, that's burning. I need to get um, some water to kind of tone that down. And I got some apples, oranges, uh, grapefruits. All of that stuff is in there. Nice smell. A very nice smell. And we got our turkeys. Turkey necks. Looking good. With our fruits stacked in. So we're going to let that cook about three, three, three hours. Get it up to 165. Alright, so we're looking at about three hours between uh, 300 and 350. And that's the temperature of the grill. We still have a couple more minutes to go to get our internal temps on this turkey, right? Got a little barbecue to it. So we got our probes in. Just make sure that she's in there. This is what we're using. So as you can see, the left turkey is 144. And the big bad boy on the right is at 135. So I want to get them all to roughly 160, 165. Pretty good. Let the wood chips do a s s slow burn. You don't want a quick burn. You want that slow burn. So that way you can get that perfect smoke. Perfect smoke. This is the first time that I've done two barbecue turkeys on a grill. I commonly grill chicken, hot dogs, hamburgers, vegan burgers, vegetables, salmon, lobsters, uh, stuff of that nature on a grill. But this is the first time that I've actually smoked a turkey, made a smoke barbecue turkey on a grill. So she's still pumping. She's still pumping. If this is your first time, guys, don't lose focus. Uh, don't get over, don't get overly wound. You know, of course, you got your professionals out there that can just do it at a, you know, just, just they could just knock it out like that. But you know, me, I'm not a professional. I'm just, you know, <laughs> I'm an IT professional. <laughs> I can, I can knock out uh, troubleshooting computer stuff. Uh, but when it comes to uh, <laughs> smoking a, a turkey man is is you know time of the essence so this is my barbecue mix 
It includes vegan butter. And basically we use that vegan butter mixed with barbecue to dress, to coat the skin of the turkey. And that helps keep that skin from getting so dry. Um, you want it to be nice and rich. Um, so that's what we got going on there. From what, I, what I'm what i seeing right now is as long as I keep the uh, grill uh, temps to 350, I can keep the turkey temps going up. The reason why I increased the, the temps late is because I don't want to cook the turkey so fast. You know, I want it to actually smoke. I want to go through that process and that process takes time. If you guys see that you guys, you know, you're going at a fast rate, slow it down, slow it down. Give it all the time you need. I started at 11 a.m. It's 3 p.m. So likely around about 4.30ish. Uh, these turkeys should be done. 4.30, close to 5-ish. Turkeys should be done. Going through the process of, you know, you got to rinse the turkey in the sink first uh, to get all that, you know, salt off from, you know, when you browned it. Then you got to dry it off. You use a lot of paper towels. I used a lot of paper towels around the turkey and inside the turkey to dry it off. So after I dried the turkey off, guys, I basically took some classic olive oil. Um, you don't want to use extra virgin uh, because that burns real quick. So we just use olive oil. You can use coconut oil, whatever type of oil that you use, but don't use extra virgin because again, extra virgin oil will burn on the grill real quick. Then that's when I threw on my rub. This bad boy here. That's what we used. Uh, you get that bad boy at Walmart. I bought two of them because I have two turkeys, but one of the containers of barbecue rub, it did the job. So yeah, after I got the rub on, stuffed the uh, apples and stuff inside of it. You want to also season inside your turkey and then throw in your uh, fruits, okay? Fruits are also seasoned too, so it's gonna give it a really, really nice, sweet, rich flavor. Let me get back to this grill and I'll show you guys the end product. Royal Oak Hardwood Lump Chalker. Look at that. One, two, three. Man, come on, baby. Hickory Smoke Lump Hardwood. Come on, baby. I'm grilling. So this is just an example. You want to tame your flame. Okay. Once you get it down to the minimum, close it up. And that will also help keep that flame down by us having to open all that air is going to feel it. My dad told me that what you commonly want to do is you want to add at least, you know, 12 more hardwood charcoal to it every every about every hour at 12 more, 12 more to it. Another thing, guys, I did flip my turkey around and then I also turned my turkey to the side. So, as you can see. Thank mm -hmm. you. 